Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we'll pray through today's prayer together. Hey there, it's Nicole Eunice from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. A Prayer to Audit Our Thoughts, written and read by Ashley Moore. For though we walk in the flesh, we are not waging war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, 3-5 After asking for a few things to be repaired around the house, my husband responded that my expectations were unrealistic. I struggled to hide my annoyance, but realized that my response was due to an underlying lie that I've struggled with often. I wonder if you relate to any version of this particular lie. I'll be at peace after this house is spotless. If I could get my to-do list done, I'd feel better. Or if I didn't have to worry about all that is going wrong around me, I could finally rest. On the surface, these lies seem fairly harmless, right? It's not a bad thing to want your yard to be nice, your house clean, or to have a completed to-do list. But what was dangerous with this thought pattern for me was this underlying belief that I needed a certain set of external circumstances to be happy, to rest, and to have peace. But you probably already know external circumstances are not a stable place to put our hope. Our circumstances can't sustain or meet our constant need for something outside of ourselves to fulfill us. Only Jesus can do that. Everything else is like building our house on sinking sand. As soon as a slight rain or wind comes along, we find our footing washed out from under us. Matthew seven twenty six through 27 This is why we must be vigilant in how we fight this battle between our ears. I was so busy trying to solve this problem I was experiencing in my flesh. I was making a to-do list, putting my husband to work, and working us both into a tizzy trying to get everything finished. But we can't be victorious over our thought life like that. So how do we fight this unseen battle? We have to audit our thoughts. Much like we audit our bank accounts to ensure our money is going where we want it to go, we have to do the same with our thoughts. We have to think about what we are thinking. If you, like me, find yourself frustrated, chasing peace and rest, but consistently find the target is moving each time you get close, try asking yourself, does what I'm thinking about align with God's word? If it doesn't, replace that thought with a thought from scripture instead. I constantly have to replace the lies above with this truth. My relationship with Jesus is the only thing that fully satisfies me and gives me peace. Jesus is better than a clean house or a yard or a superhero husband. As we audit our thoughts and align them with the word of God instead, we can finally experience what our hearts are truly after and what they were designed to be fulfilled by. Intimacy with our creator. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for eliminating the vulnerability of our minds and our temptation to remedy these weaknesses in our power. Lord, forgive us for how we believe other things will satisfy us as only you can do. I know it must break your heart to see your children chasing things that will never bring them the peace and rest we desperately crave. But Lord, thank you for the ways you gently draw our attention back to these behaviors and beckon us into a deeper relationship with you. 
Lord, please continue to show us how you can fully satisfy us and that you can give us peace that surpasses our circumstances and our understanding. And that, Lord, when we allow you to do this, we become great displays of your marvelous power and love to an onlooking world who are also desperate for you. Thank you for using our lives for your purposes, despite our shortcomings. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain. But we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised me and you his peace and throughout scripture has provided powerful tools and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and feed our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com or wherever you access podcast content.